Yo, what is up YouTube? My name is Kid Cuddy, bringing you some more Battlefield 4 gameplay, and today I just want to talk about the test range, pretty much what is it, what can you do inside the test range, and pretty much what's it for. Pretty much what the test range is, is just to test out anything that's inside the Battlefield 4 game, whether it's vehicles, guns, attachments, you want to see how far you can throw a grenade, you can do it here. And pretty much what you do is, you go to the multiplayer, you go all the way down to the test range, if you haven't seen it yet, you've been too deep in that campaign or you're just underneath a rock, but you're going to be glad that you finally figured this out. Now let's just say you got that new gun from last game, or you just opened your new battle pack, and you got new attachments, and you got that new gun, right? And you don't want to go into the next game not knowing how it would act. You know, maybe it'll climb too much, maybe it'll, the recoil is too much for you to handle, and you want to kind of get it down before you get into the next game. And you, you know, you don't want to do bad, you know, you don't want to show everybody you suck. Well. Now you got it. Now DICE has got you covered. They have a new gun range and it's located inside the test range. It's one part of the map that you can do in this test range. You can see the targets. You can get the timing down of your gun, the recoil down. You can have it all in your hands right now. I'm glad DICE has figured this out. And if you go by a wall, you can test the lean feature. You know, I don't have, I have a problem with it right now, but now you can fix it out. Now you can fix it. Now, as we skip it to the next one, we can see that these are the targets that I talked about previously the gun range targets as you see at the top of Doritos at the top of the little spot little red spot I call them Doritos right at the top you can kinda of see the meters that they're located at the first ones you see at the beginning are 9 meters and they range all the way back to 95 you can test them out see what you can do with them get the targets down you know practice a little bit even the auto aim works on there and like I said before you can go next to the walls and get the peak and lean feature down down packed because I literally struggle with it but you can fix it now let's just say you're not a support guy in this gun range, and you run out of ammo, what about ammo, you know, will I ever run out? Don't worry, DICE has got you covered. Once again, they give you ammo right on the side, all you do is just shoot your gun and walk up to it. As you can see right there, you get fresh ammo anytime you empty it and you walk up to it, you get new ammo. Next as we move on, right here is what I think is kind of interesting, I think it's pretty, pretty cool that they added this. It's located right behind the gun range, all you do is walk up here. And it's a pretty cool thing that they added in here. What you're going to see here is I'm going to press this little, uh, I guess, interactive little button here that dice. You know, they're all about this interactive thing in this new BF4. And what you do here is, you, as you can see, I press X and you can trigger barrels. They just just come out of nowhere. I guess some little fish, fishies, I guess, are just throwing them out of the water. I don't know where they're coming from. But as you can see here, as you do, you just press X right here and them kind of just lean thing. And you can pull these these pretty cool you know barrels out of the ground it just is pretty cool it's like that little shooter game there's like pull you know and you just you know shoot barrels you can shoot them so don't worry about them they're not there for just show you can shoot at them and I don't have the best accuracy so I'm not really good at it but maybe you can pretty maybe you're pretty good at it at aiming at these barrels but I thought it was pretty cool that you can do this Now, as we come back to the gun range, just want to show you a little bit more of what you can do with these targets. Maybe you're that great sniper. Maybe you improve your sniper skills. Be that that dominating sniper from a distance that nobody can take out. Now you can be that person. Or even you want to test out your support your support LMGs. Maybe you want to test your range down fire. Maybe test on targets a little bit further than what you're used to. Maybe even test on moving targets. Maybe you can do something like that. You can do all this with the gun rings, all the little targets, even hit moving targets as you can see here. Be a little bit better than me right here at this distance, I'm not that good, but you can do all this at the gun range, it's pretty cool. Now we all know that DICE has changed their new button layout for the vehicles, the soldiers, and they all changed it all for this new BF4. It's kind of hard to get used to, but right now as you can see also in this test range, you can test out the vehicles, kind of get used to the vehicle controls, because I still have gotten, I haven't still gotten used to it yet unless you change back the veteran which you can do and as you can see you can see what type of vehicles you can get into the IFV the AA gun the buggy any type of vehicle you can get into this test range and as you can see I'm kinda testing it out on these enemy vehicle tanks that you get inside the test range you can test it out get that perfect hit and or maybe you wanna get down the shell times for the reload for the tanks and not be stuck there sitting with no sh you can't shoot you can get it fixed here, you can do all that here. This is where you do it. DICE has also put in air vehicles so you can finally be that ace pilot that you wanted to be, but you never had a chance to. 
you get straight into the game and just get taken right out of the sky by someone who is a hundred stars with a jet or chopper instantly taken out now you can learn from the get-go just kind of get the basis of it you know don't get wiped out as fast and just be better than me like that just be better than me you can learn from my mistakes this is why they have it for players like me who do not know how to fly at all especially with the new controls they're kind of different nowadays from from BF3 and you can change it kind of back to the old BF3 mode by switching back to legacy I believe I don't know for sure but as you can see you go down here you can lock onto these cars down here and kind of test your ace piloting skills you know test the ace pilot skills that you want to be and just don't be like me the crash 2 Zandra don't be like me don't be like that guy don't be me and as you can see with that Basically, I need to come back to this. I need more help with choppers. I, I literally can't fly. I, I would never step foot in those ever again unless I go here. But as you can see, you can go to any type of vehicle here. You can li literally go to any vehicle that you want that's in the game. You can go to the boats. I have never used any boat yet, so this is a great experience for me. I have not stepped foot once inside of a boat, especially the armored boat. And you can kind of test it out here. As you can see, I'm kind of getting used to it a little bit more. You can test it out, test out the reload, like I said, with the tanks, you can kind of get it down pat, so you don't have to sit there and just stare at boat to boat, you know, just kiss at each other, just stare at each other, you can fix it now, kind of get it down with this game. Just like I said, you can spawn to any vehicle, and every vehicle, even the Amtrak as well, as you can spawn to jets in here, have you ever had, just got tired of that level 100, or that 100 star jet, always taking you out of the sky and you're just trying to learn you're just trying to take those baby steps and try to be that ace jet pilot have you ever wanted to take him out at least learn how to kind of take him out and get your way around it well now you can in the test range once again you can just test out anything and everything you can kind of get the you know the adjust of how to how to dodge how to turn sharp corners how to you know do everything that those 100s can do and kind of test it right here and lock on to these UAV type things you can finally do this learn how to take them out and not get shot down as fast and just get mad and throw your controller I've done it a few times just because they're just so good and I never had a chance to test it out really and now you can and finally let's say you're trying to get on one of those close quarter maps and you're trying to test out your skills from close quarters you know maybe you're used to the long range the big maps you can kind of test it in this little building here doesn't really give you the full experience of close ranges, the close quarter maps, but you kind of get a gist of what to look for. Test your little skills on stairs, how to walk upstairs a little bit and kind of peek upstairs, crouch upstairs, you know. Maybe you get some good grenade throws like that. Test it out. You know, this is what you can pretty much do in the test range. You can do so much here. There's so much to offer. I'm glad they offered this in the game. Help noobs out like me. Help them out. And, you know, maybe we just want like the pretty side of this map. Maybe we just like, you know, maybe you just like to see. Maybe you just want to test out your SRAW. Maybe get that down pat like you see here. Can I get this? I do. Because, you know, I'm great. This new test range by DICE in Battlefield 4 is a great feature. I'm glad to implement it into the game. You can do so much. You can go anywhere around this map. And even here, you can test out your little trick shots in multiplayer for those great clips just like this. Just <laughs> peace out, YouTube.